So if you can start to see everything in your life as a form of initiation and full-heartedly embrace the suffering to the point where the fear of the suffering actually diminishes and diminishes and diminishes, and your surrender, the surrender of that suffering and the resistance behind the suffering given back to source, back to God, surrendered, then this happens very quickly. And there's no better tool than suffering for this. Now, you don't have to create more suffering for yourself deliberately in order to do this. If you pay attention, you don't need as much suffering. Literally, if you were to do what you want to establish in yourself, if you paid attention more, and this takes training and subtlety and intuition and learning, but the more aware you become of what your higher self wants of you next, thy will, what is thy will? You can begin to observe the, in a sense, absurdity of whatever you desire that's not that, and see how it's a contradicting flow to your higher self's true desire or God's desire, if you will. If you can learn that way, you can correct yourself. You don't have to continue in this selfish direction because you believe something, because there's a delusion, but you really don't want to let go of it because if you let go of it, then your fulfillment disappears and da, da, da. But if you go in that direction, continue, then there's no other way for you to course correct, but to pull a full stop on yourself, AKA catalyst, suffering, intensity, dr drama, um, whatever, you know, betrayal, abandonment, uh, diseases, all these things. So if you can pay attention and kind of start hovering in between your personal physical mind and your higher mind, kind of be a mediator, almost like a marriage <laughs> mediator. And you're there like, okay, you listen to your higher self's desires you listen to your personal desires. Both are fine. Both are valid and see if you can harmonize that. This is wisdom. This is learning faster. So you can actually, with imagination and intuition and paying attention with self-awareness, you can course correct in a very harmonious way. You don't have to create suffering, but the suffering that is there, not maybe even the new catalyst that you're producing, although that too, but even the suffering that's traced, the trace elements from your past, the beliefs that haven't fully resolved yet, the traumatic, um, events that have occurred that you haven't fully processed yet or forgiven yet at some level, you know? So those trace elements of suffering, we can use those too, to peel ourselves open more. And this takes courage, yes. But I mean, do you have a better suggestion? Right? So you have it, you have the trace amounts of suffering left. What do you suggest? I suggest you give it up. You just give up your allegiance to it. It's, it's, it can be there, it can arise, but you give up your allegiance to it. It's no longer the instructor in your life. It's no longer your swim coach. You're going to swim wherever the fuck you're going to swim based on a new intelligence that's unblocked. It's the willingness. The willingness brings everything to you that you need. And yes, it will still reveal the layers that you have. You're not going to escape the layers to purify. They're going to come up. And you can accelerate that process, yet make it less intense or less um, painful by doing it willingly. You already volunteered, so don't stop volunteering midway because it makes no sense. Continue to volunteer. Continue to volunteer your feelings, your emotions, your actions, your sacrifices, your love, your passion. Continue to believe in what you're here for. Does this make sense? It's just one view, but...